Hello, I'm Colin Galton, the General Manager of Massmark Facilities Management. Dealing with repairs and maintenance efficiently and cost-effectively is vital to the success of our business. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how we're going to work with you to ensure that we achieve this. Have the right contracting partners. Keep our costs to a minimum. Issue work orders to you speedily. Ensure that the repairs we need are actioned by you timorously. Ensure that we handle the paperwork efficiently and with the minimum of red tape. And ensure that we pay you on time and correctly for all work that you have done. Hi, I'm Lola Jones, Operation Manager for MassMart Facilities. Let me take you through the MassMart Repairs and Maintenance Program. Before we can partner with you, we need to create your company as a supplier on our online facilities management portal. You'll be given a supplier number and instructions on how to register and log onto our system. Now that you've registered, log on to the portal system. Insert the username that you've created. Insert your password. And click on the login button. Click on the MassMart icon. This is what your work orders will look like. Please familiarize yourself with the screen. Hi, Lola. We have a problem with our chiller. Hi, Tato. You need to log a call with the call center. The call center operator needs to know which piece of equipment needs to be worked on. Most mechanical equipment in the store has an asset tag with a unique reference number that looks like this. This will assist you, the contractor, to make certain you're working on the right piece of equipment. The asset tag should be easy to find on the front piece of equipment. It is important that you always look for it. Massmark Facilities, you're speaking to Ayanda, how can I help? The store team member will continue to provide the call centre operator with all the information they need to fix the store's problem. When this is done, they will be contacting you. Hello. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Fine, thanks. This is Ayanda from the Massmark Call Centre. I need to confirm if you can attend to a job for me. We have a blower coil that is not able to hold its temperature in Game Mall of the South. It is an urgent job. It needs to be attended to within two hours. Are you able to help us? Yes, I can send someone out straight away. Thank you. I will email you the work order immediately. Thank you. Bye. Once the work order has been dispatched, the email will appear in your inbox. This is your work order. It contains the details of the store, the asset to be worked on, and the work that is required. It also has a pre-approved order value. You can carry out an invoice for all work up to this value without any further approvals. Your own internal processes will now take over. You have been sent this work order for your reference However, you're welcome to use it as a job card or you can use your own job card. It is not necessary to take this piece of paper to the store when you attend to the job. It is important though that your technician has the work order number and the asset tag number with him. In addition to this, all of your work orders can be found on your own contractor's portal. Ideally, when your technician arrives on site, it's important for him to contact the office and for you to go onto the portal system and change the status to work started arrived on site.
just a reminder that it is vital that you complete the job card with all the necessary details, like time in, time out, as well as a description of what work was done. Please ensure that the store manager stamps and signs your job card. All right, thank you very much. And I'm going to close the call from my side. Okay, thank you very much. Job well done. Thank you. Okay, confession time. Not all of our store managers will go onto the portal and close off the work order as soon as you leave the store. But don't worry about that, we have a backup plan. The facilities call centre will be assisting with this. Unfortunately, life is not always as simple as this. If you remember, we gave you a work order with a set value. That value was made up of a call-out fee and two hours of labour. But what happens if this work order is bigger than that? As soon as you realise the job is going to escalate, please contact the call centre and provide them with a revised cost. If we want you to proceed, we'll advise immediately. Hi, this is Ayanda from the call centre. Do you require an uplift? I have obtained approval. Please go ahead. This is what your contractor's portal will look like. Please click on the orange button to synchronize any work orders that might be hanging that need to come through into the system. Okay, see the notification at the top telling you that your work orders have been synchronized. Click on the work due tab. This is all the work that has been sent to you. This is all work that has been dispatched, but the work has not been done yet. Click on the work in progress tab. Since the work is now being completed on site, please double click on the work order code. This will bring up the work order and what work we asked you to do. Now that the work has been done, change the status to work completed and save. Now click on the document tab, click on the orange button, add document. A browser will pop up, choose file. Click on the file that relates to the job card and click on Upload. You will notice that your file is now embedded in the documents if you view below. So now your document has been uploaded. You will notice that the work order has now moved to the work completed awaiting branch approval. Click on the back arrow. Now either the branch needs to go in and work approve um, or the facilities call center. So we are going to wait for them to branch approve this work order. The work order has now been branched approved by the facilities call center. Click on the orange sync work order data button. You will notice that the work order is now moved out of that tab and it is moved to the work to be invoice tab. Now we are ready to submit our invoice. Find the work order and double click on it. The system leads us to provide feedback to tell us exactly what work was done on site. Please click on the Add Feedback button. So please provide information about what work was done at this particular store. Click on the work completed on, it will bring up a calendar, and this is the date that appears on your job card. It's not the date of your invoice, but the date when the work was actually done. Click on done. So now this has provided feedback to the system. Click on the change status button. Click on the drop down menu and click on feedback completes awaiting invoice. Click on the save button. You'll notice that your status is now changed to feedback completes awaiting invoice. Now you can upload your invoice. Click on the add invoice button. This box has all the details about your specific invoice. Put your invoice date your invoice number, and the total including VAT. This is the only box that has the value including VAT. Click on Add Invoice. You will notice that um, 
The value that you've just put in is referenced above and the date of your invoice. You'll notice that there are two orange blocks. One is ad hoc item and the other is ad fixed cost item. The ad fixed cost item is for any items that you're doing under a maintenance contract and that value will be fixed on the system. The ad hoc item box is all the reactive work. Plus any items for which we have an agreed rate with you, items like hourly labor, call out fees and travel. For these items, select from the drop down menu on the add fixed cost item and just insert the quantity. Please click on ad hoc item. Click on the drop down menu by cost element. Ideally what we want you to do is to break everything up into a category. We don't want to see just one line item of everything, but we want it broken up into material, travel, call out fees, whatever it relates to, so that we can use this for reporting purposes. For the purpose of this exercise, we are going to be choosing labor because this is what was done for this particular invoice. Put the item description in. Put the unit cost in, excluding VAT. Insert the quantity and click on save. You will notice that the invoice dates that is highlighted in bold and the bottom total are exactly the same. If those numbers are not the same, the system will not allow you to submit your invoice. Please click on the document button. Click on the orange add document. When the browser opens, click on choose file and find the invoice that relates to that job. Click on the upload button. You will notice below that the job card was already loaded and you've now inserted the invoice. If we're happy that everything matches, click on the submit button. Click on OK. You'll notice it says that task is completed. This means that your invoice has been successfully uploaded. Click on the invoices submitted tab. Click on the orange sync button. If you click on the invoices submitted tab, you'll notice that the work order has now moved to invoices submitted. Now this is everything that you need to do and from this point on it goes through to two approvers and then it goes through for payment. Hi, I'm Elif. I'm the National Group Admin Manager for MassMart Facilities Management. Once you have uploaded your invoice, it will go straight to our finance department and one of our invoice assessors will examine and approve the invoice online. Your invoice will always follow the same approval process, so you will know whom to contact should you have any queries. Once this approval has been done, which should take 48 hours, the invoice is referred to management for final online approval. From here, it goes straight to the MassMart Finance system for payment. Our system is entirely paperless and we do not require any printed invoices. Should any errors be found on your submitted invoice, it will be rejected online via the portal and you will be able to track this on the portal with reason for the rejection. You are able to do the necessary changes and resubmit your invoice for payment on the portal, which will then follow the same process as mentioned before. Some of you may be doing planned regular maintenance tasks for us. If this is the case, the planned maintenance will be loaded into the system at the signing of the contract and for the duration of that contract. The work orders will be sent to you in the first few days of the month that the service is due. The work order will be emailed to you and it will automatically appear in your portal. These work orders differ in that the value is a set value that has been agreed in the maintenance contract. You will usually have 28 days to complete this task from the time the work order is dispatched. So that is how all stores in the MassMark Group will be handling repairs and maintenance going forward. My team and I are on a mission to work with you to provide all of our stores with a seamless repairs and maintenance service in the future. If you have any queries about anything in this video, please feel free to contact either myself, your regional manager or the MassMark call centre.